In my last video, I talked about the battery box structure, the design, the requirements for an electric vehicle. In this video, I'm going to talk about what's in the box. What's in the box? Who's in the box? What's in the box? So what's inside of the battery box in an electric vehicle? Well, it all starts with a cell. I've got another video that does a deep dive into these battery cells, the lithium ion battery cells. There's three different styles, prismatic, pouch style, and cylindrical like I have in my hand here. If you'd like to learn more about the cell construction themselves, you can see my other video, click this link right here. Now there's different ways they can package these battery cells into an electric vehicle. There's modules where you have multiple cells bundled together, anywhere from 500 to 1000 depending on the size of the battery module inside the electric vehicle. And then you can have cell to pack. Uh, this example would be like the Tesla Model Y where you've got multiple cells put into the pack and then the entire pack is filled up with polyurethane foam. Uh, that same foam that you can buy from the big box store that uh, you spray around your windows. Now it doesn't matter what strategy they use to get the cells into the battery pack itself, either cell to pack, cell to module, using small modules and a lot of them, or only a handful of very large modules, you're going to have thousands of battery cells inside of that battery pack. And again, that all depends on how big the cell is, whether it's that cylindrical cell, the smaller ones, or getting up to the 4680s, the prismatics, or even getting into the pouch style cells. Once you get all of those cells into the battery pack, you're bumping that voltage up from three to four volts in an individual cell, all the way up to 300 to 800 volts in a pack. So there's a lot of voltage, high voltage, inside of these battery packs. Also inside of the battery pack, you have thermal management systems. These batteries like to be at a very comfortable temperature. When it's too cold outside, they need to be warmed up so they can accept a charge and work properly. When it's too hot outside, they need to be cooled down so they're in an operating range that's comfortable as well. If these batteries get too hot, they can fail, fail catastrophically. That's why it's very important to have a thermal management system operating. Think about your SCBA bottle. You put your SCBA bottle in a cascade system, you open that valve wide open, you fill that bottle as fast as you can, what happens to the bottle? It gets hot. The same thing happens to these battery cells when you try to charge them quickly. Fast charging is very important for electric vehicles to get those vehicles on the road quickly. So as you're charging these battery cells, you need to cool them down so they don't fail. And again, if they fail, it's going to be a catastrophic failure. When you're driving down the highway, you smash down the accelerator pedal, you're trying to go as fast as you can. Again, these battery cells are dumping a lot of energy into the vehicle. They heat up. That thermal management system has to manage the temperature so we don't have these types of failures. Another thing you have inside the battery box is high voltage electrical components. For example, bus bars, high voltage cables. Now these should be bright orange and if for some reason you have some type of crash with the vehicle, the battery box is peeled open, you see these types of components, you want to avoid them. You also have high voltage electronics, your battery management system. So there are other things inside the battery box. Hopefully that gives you a better idea on what's inside the battery box of an electric vehicle. If you have any questions, comment below. For a more in-depth look on how electric vehicles are designed and what's in an electric vehicle, visit my friends at Monroe Live. They do electric vehicle teardowns and they have multiple vehicles that they've torn down.